Look, being a new mom has forced me to completely change the way I work. Now, more than ever, it's all about being efficient with my time and just being comfortable with getting work done whenever and wherever I possibly can. Hi everyone, Ta here. In today's video, I've partnered with Intel Canada to test and showcase how a powered by Intel Evo laptop can handle the workload and lifestyle of a content creator slash mom like myself. So they sent over a nice little care package that includes a laptop and this sweater. It's getting kind of chilly here in Toronto, so perfect timing. So this is the HP NV16 powered by Intel Evo. It's a big screen, creative focus laptop that checks a lot of boxes and isn't gonna break the bank. Opening this up, you get the laptop itself and also a 120 watt power adapter. Specs wise, the one I have here comes with an Intel i7 12700H paired with the Intel Arc A370M GPU. So yeah, this thing is all Intel out. If you're wondering what Intel Evo even is, it's basically a standard that manufacturers have to meet in terms of graphics, screens, chips, connectivity, and other things that combined lead to an overall smoother and faster laptop experience. If it's got the Evo badge, you know it's got Intel stamp of approval. The Intel Arc GPU is a relatively new choice when it comes to dedicated graphics. It's geared towards content creators with some light gaming capabilities. And yeah, that sounds a lot like me. What's nice is that both the RAM and storage are user upgradable. So if you find yourself needing more down the road, you can just pop it open and add some yourself. Connectivity includes Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3, which is as good as it gets right now. This has a glossy 16 inch 2560 by 1600, 120 Hertz IPS display with up to 400 nits of brightness. It's a very nice looking display that covers 100% of the sRGB color space and just also happens to be a touchscreen, which honestly caught me by surprise. The sound is also good too with a quad speaker setup tuned by Bang and Olufsen. You got two woofers on the bottom near the front and two tweeters, one on each side of the keyboard. Let me just say, the all aluminum build with the super minimal design language is totally speaking to me. Outside of the HP logo and the strip that runs along the bottom here, it's essentially a solid piece of silver metal. So this was my first time using a 16 inch laptop and I have to say, it's gonna be really hard to go back to something smaller. With 13 or 14 inch laptops, I've always felt kind of cramped, especially when it comes to something like photo or video editing. I like that it's a taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio instead of the wider 16 by nine. This display just feels a lot more roomy and I don't feel an immediate need to plug another monitor in. If you wanted to though, this laptop actually supports up to three 4K monitors and has worked great with my ultra wide when I have plugged it in. It's a surprisingly thin laptop, but weighs over five pounds. Now that weight isn't going to be ideal if you travel a lot with your laptop, but I would classify this as a device that's geared more towards being a desktop replacement. For my needs, as long as it's portable enough to move around the house with the occasional trip to the coffee shop, that's more than good enough. I've also got that mommy strength right now, so this, this is nothing. Now, this laptop has mainly lived on my desk, but there were a couple of days where I did carry it with me to get work done while visiting my parents. Between surfing the web, word processing, and streaming videos, it was able to last the entire eight hour day with battery to spare. More intense things like video editing or gaming is of course going to take a much bigger hit on the battery, but I'll likely be plugged in for those situations anyways to get the best performance out of the laptop. So I've spent a lot of time typing on this keyboard. Being a thin laptop, you aren't getting the most key travel, but in general, it's a nice spacious backlit keyboard that gets the job done. The trackpad is a good size, has excellent tracking, and also great palm rejection. So your mouse cursor isn't gonna jump around and randomly click on things as you're typing. The right and left click are actually physical clicks instead of using haptics to mimic one. But yeah, this is one of the better trackpads I've tested. If you're wondering where the fingerprint scanner is, well, there isn't one. The five megapixel webcam is Windows Hello compatible and is your only option for secure biometric login. The webcam has a max resolution of 1440p and if online meetings are a big part of your workflow, you're going to really appreciate the HP Enhanced Lighting app, which uses the display to mimic a ring light. When you pair an Intel processor with Intel Arc graphics, it enables something Intel calls Deep Link, which leads to better performance and efficiency for different workflows, including what I'm most interested in, video editing. Okay, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve. This is a current project that I've been working on for the past week. 
These are all 4K 30fps clips and as you can see, it's a relatively smooth experience. I can comfortably scrub through the clips and playback is nice and responsive without any major stuttering. If you edit 4K files with higher frame rates or use a lot of video and motion effects, you'll likely have to use proxies at half or quarter resolution or use render caches. But yeah, it's totally manageable and yeah, I've been able to get this project done on here. When it comes time to render, devices with Intel Arc graphics will have hyper encoding enabled by default, leading to faster export times. A five minute 4K 30 FPS project like this renders in just under eight minutes. I remember when I first started editing videos, I had this super old PC and this same project would have taken me like 25 to 30 minutes to render. Definitely don't miss those days. The Intel Arc GPU also has full AV1 support. AV1 is a next generation video codec with high efficiency. This is the first machine I've used where the AV1 option has been available. And basically you end up with smaller file sizes while still maintaining that high quality video, saving you storage space. The NV16 has also been great for the photo editing side of things too. I personally use Affinity Photo to create and edit all my thumbnails. Initially, I didn't really see the benefit of having a touchscreen on a non-convertible laptop like this, but being able to use my fingers to zoom in and out of certain areas of an image to check details or to make sure everything is lined up properly just feels a lot more natural and engaging for me versus a trackpad. With Intel Arc being relatively new, it's still improving regularly with driver drops. Get the Intel Driver Assistant and double check that all your drivers are up to date. This ensures you'll have the best possible experience. The truth is, I'm not much of a PC gamer, but one of my girlfriends has been trying to get me to play Counter-Strike for the longest time. So your girl, finally decided to hop in. On high graphic settings, the NV16 was getting anywhere between 80 to 120 frames per second and ran surprisingly well. I also loaded up some casual games on Game Pass for PC and it handled them like a champ too. When rendering videos or gaming, you're gonna hear the laptop fans kick in, but that's somewhat expected as the cooling system works to keep a relatively thin laptop like this cool. Honestly, for casual gamers like myself who just want to scratch that gaming itch from time to time, I really can't complain. So the HP NV16 is classified as a content creation slash light gaming device. And after spending some time with it, I think they nailed that description. You're getting plenty of power with the Intel 12th gen processor and Intel's new art graphics offers a nice middle ground between price and performance. Combined, you're getting a lot of synergy between them that I can only imagine will get better over time as Intel optimizes things. If you're interested, I'll link this exact laptop model in the description. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go spend some quality time with my daughter. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.